Hello, and welcome to the BBSC documentary, 10 Years of Classification. This documentary is brought to you by I'm Man I Know and I'm an Efficiency. My name is Paul Doughty and I will be your host. Today's film industry is constantly moving. Yeah. With the digital age firmly taking hold on society, most people consider the film industry one of the largest media formats in the world. However, when I talk to you about film, you think flashy actors, big cards, and expensive film sets, and you're right. However, before the film is released to public cinema, it's submitted to the BBFC. The BBFC, or British Board of Film Classification, talks with the director about what certificate the film should get. If the director is not happy with the response, they can make any changes the BBFC has suggested in order to get the right certificate. All of these films were done voluntarily by the director. However, in certain extreme cases, the BBFC would insist on having certain scenes removed from certain films. This could be due to animal cruelty in the case of cannibal polycorp. Or due to glorified rape scenes, such as the film The House on the Edge of the Park. I'll make sure the party doesn't get out of hand. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, what is film classification? Film classification is a certificate given to the film that is under the observation of the BBFC. These certificates are as follows. U. U stands for universal. It is suitable for all ages. There is no sex scenes, no drug use, and no violence. PG. PG stands for parental guidance. It is suitable for all ages. However, any parents with children under the age of eight should be aware of the film's content before showing it to their children. There is little to no violence, any drug use needs to be carrying an anti-drug message, and there is very little sex scenes. 12 and 12A. 12 and 12A have the exact same criteria. However, 12 is used for DVD release and 12A for cinema. The boundaries for a 12 or 12A film are as follows. Moderate violence is allowed, as is occasional drug use. However, any sex scenes in the film should not focus on detail. 15. The BBSC will only certify a film as a 15 if it deems it unacceptable to be watched by anybody under that age. Reasons for this could include violence that dwells on the infliction of pain, drug abuse, or any moderate foul language is allowed as long as it's justified by context. 18. 18 is a final mainstream certificate. It is only suitable to be watched by anybody of 18 or older. Anything is allowed in this, these types of films, unless it is a breach of the Obscene Publications Act of 1959. In the last 30 years, there has been a 28.6% decrease in the amount of footage that is needed to be cut. In 1972, it was 26.4, and in 2012, it was just 2.2. Now, most people believe that this could be because the BBFC are buckling under director's pressure for what directors call media art. Others believe that society is now ready to view such films as antichrists that hold more extreme content. The truth is, both could be true, and both probably are. The film I've chosen to focus on for this documentary is Spider-Man. Released in 2002 and directed by Sam Remy, this film caused much controversy when released. Not due to its content, but due to its certificate. It was rated a 12. Most people felt that this was too high and should be made lower. Their main argument for this was that Spider-Man, being a comic book hero, all the merchandise was focused at younger children, lower than 12. The reason that the BBFC did not give this film the PG rating that the director had requested was because it felt that the revenge theme and the fantasy violence was not acceptable for the viewing of those younger than 12. By pure chance, just a few months later in August 2002, a new certificate was released, 12A. 12A was released by the BBFC because it now understood that children were ready to see more violent viewing films and that parents had a greater control over what their children watched. Immediately after the 12A release, Spider-Man got re-released as a 12A film, allowing all those children that weren't able to see the original release to now see their favourite neighbourhood Spider-Man.